In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing you're using your IceWarp instant messaging communication not through the web client, but also through other available client and mobile applications. The IceWarp instant messaging server is based on the Jabber or XMPP protocol. This is the only standard for instant messaging communication on the internet. This gives you a lot of flexibility. Not only is your communication available in the web client, but also in different applications such as PSI or Pigeon, both of which are free and available for download on our website, or on your mobile device with other Jabber-based applications in the iPhone's App Store, BlackBerry, or Android Market, and even in desktop clients such as our IceWarp desktop client that support instant messaging communication. So we're going to show in this tutorial the use of PSI. So I have that client installed here. and We're going to configure a new account. So we'll add an account. We're going to add the account of Heather from our demo domain. Now we're not going to be registering a new account because Heather already has an account registered on the Jabber server which is the IceWarp server. So we'll simply click Add, specify our Jabber ID, which is going to be our full email address, then our password, and then in the Connection tab, we're going to specify the server's connection information. This was provided to you on your welcome email. Simply save those details, click Close, now our account's added, so to go online, we simply right-click on our account and set our status to online. You can fill out vCard information now and publish that information for this user if you'd like. And you see Heather, and you see her available contact roster here, including whoever's online, which is just see not currently. Well, let's go ahead and log in to another user's account, Stephanie. Stephanie's now online, and you see Heather there. Let's go ahead and send Heather a message. You'll see Sheila not only gets it in the web client, where she's logged in at, but also if I bring PSI back up, you'll see a message waiting from Stephanie here. And here's Stephanie's reply. And again, no matter where I search my history, whether it be here or it be here for the history of the uh, PSI client, I'm going to see all my communication history between myself and Stephanie because of the central unified search stored on the server. This is just one other available application you can use. But again, there are many clients available for different mobile devices, and some desktop clients support instant messaging communication, specifically our IceWarp desktop client, which is an outstanding alternative to Outlook because it does offer some of those enhanced communication options such as IM.